I'm up for this. Okay. I'm committed. While we've got the heat wave, it is a great time to be doing this okay. sort of thing. You will bring some logic to it. Oh, so this that, should be in a frame. Because I just get overwhelmed and look at it all. This is my home, yeah. and these are the things, and this is my home. <laughs> I feel scared already. Yes. What is that? No, that's that's this. from him. He's but does he sign it? I don't know. Um, he has. Does that sound like a plan? yes? Why is that? You, you look nervous. No, no, that stays. I mean, that looks like a design feature now. Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I've got an exciting one today. Mm. Look whose house I'm at. This is <laughs> Helen, everyone. Hello. Just in case you didn't already know. And Helen's invited me over to help with a little spot of decluttering. Yeah, a spot. <laughs> I mean, this is serious. I, I'm needing, I'm just realizing there's so many areas, so many spots. What has brought this on, Helen? Okay, so one, I'm very old and I've sort of collected things and I get anxious about chucking things out, so I know that, but also- You are not very old. Uh, well, hmm, you say the right thing. And also um, the catalyst is I've got a grown-ups coming to lunch, which never happens. Oh. And I don't want them coming in and judging or like, just years and years of stuff. When you say grown-ups coming to lunch. <laughs> Older than me. <laughs> okay. Mm. It sounds like sensible. Is it sensible. Is, that, is that the vibe? Relatives. Sit, like, sit, oh wow. Family okay. people. Yeah. And so it's not like a all oh, let's dance around our handbags in the kitchen yeah. like vibe with okay. the disco light like you and I've done. Like, um, Helen throws a very good party. I do. <laughs> I sometimes fall over. So it's not that kind of thing. Okay. It's, you know, I want people to walk into the house. I mean, there's space here and for it to look like an, a normal house. Okay. Mm. So you have got a few areas you want to look at today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've got about two hours because Helen is also a very busy woman. Yes, I'm And you're busy. off at 4pm and it's coming up to 2 now. Yeah. So we haven't got too much time. So what I thought we'd do today is look at some of the areas and we can hatch a bit of a plan. I'm always willing to pop back Thank you. <laughs> for future help. But I thought also in looking at these different areas, I'll share some tips for everybody as well. So, no, that's good. Because I think you've got a lot of relatable areas that I'm sure lots of you have at home as well. And We've it's all got them. logic. You will bring some logic to it because I just get overwhelmed and look at it all. Okay. Okay. Helen's got this amazing space. I mean, this is a fantastic space that we're in because we have kitchen through to dining area through to this nice kind of living area over here. My eyes always go straight to your mantle. I know. <laughs> I can't get rid of it. It's fascinating. Things have been on that, you yeah. know, with dust for years. I have not moved pieces of paper for years. Wow. Mm. Can we look at the mantle? We can look at it, I'm getting anxious, but we can look at it. <laughs> Let's have a look. Okay. Here we are at Helen's mantle. <laughs> that sounds very Victorian, my mantle. It's such a focal point of this room though. Well that's just because I just put more things on it and I don't take the old thing, you know, it's just piling up. Have you ever taken everything off this? No. It? Okay. Never. Is that going to be Not, challenging? It, it is, I mean it's uh, because I kind of, I'm used to this layout right. and it's familiarity because yeah. if you look there you know there's like games mm -hmm. and they're just in that shape yeah so i'm kind of going this is my home yeah and these are the things and this is my home <laughs> i feel scared already yes, I'm, trying you, I'm trying to make you yeah. scared we'll talk more about the book later but i feel like having read it now i know lots of Helen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a bit too much, possibly. Mm -hmm. uh, I know the bit that Helen does not like authority, so no. I know to. I'm reining it right in yes. with this. I, I do find, I do struggle with authority yeah. figures. So I won't but, tell you that you need to do anything. Okay, <laughs> but no, but I'm, I'm up for this. Okay. I'm committed. Yeah. I would like to take everything off it. <laughs> 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 oh my god, because that, that, yeah. that mantle, as yeah. you call it, has never been seen. Oh wow. Ever. The wood? Yeah, since I it was how, made. How, it was made. Oh wow. And we had someone put yeah. the wood in. So this is a pretend mantle. Oh, is it? It's all fake, yeah. Oh, it's everything such a fake. Good. Yeah. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, okay, oh God, okay. Mm -hmm. This is the place to start, is it, with a smallish area, if you are feeling the overwhelm. Taking everything off means that then we can put things back that you really love. <laughs> okay then. Alright then, let's do it. Should we, yeah, we've no. got the coffee table down here. Let's get cracking. There's stuff on the coffee table. Yeah, well. we'll clear all that. Scripts. And then, um, okay. I'm just going to put this... So shall I start 
doing taking a thing off. Would you mind? So the thing is, this shape will never be again. No, I mean, you're welcome to take a photograph. <laughs> yeah, let's take a photograph. Okay. No, and we let's need a photograph. It. We do need a photograph. No, that's it. Oh God, there's parties from long ago. Nobody asks me to parties anymore. Um, but there's like old parties and oh. old good luck cards and stuff. Right. Okay, do it. Oh, part, yeah. Oh, um. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Um, do you want to be with the mantle? Someone of your technical ability know, is struggling. Is, it's with quite embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> um, okay, so we get the I'll mantle. Because this is like historic. This yeah. is a historic thing. <laughs> Oh. Okay, now we're See, already I'm feeling like bad yeah. for moving things on the mantle. This is what happens. I'm making you feel bad. <laughs> I'm very powerful. Yes. Okay, let's um, do it. But look, see, the clock is ticking. It's five past two yeah, already. Yeah, We've got to okay. get cracking. Okay. Right, we'll get this all cleared. Nothing's okay. going until you decide. It. It's just going on the coffee table. So pencils are going yeah. in a nice mug. Just to say that mug was. Um, that is very cool. David and Andrew, um, my lovely Scottish friends, they, he's an artist. He made that. and. That was for my show that I did in Edinburgh. And pencils for those rare moments when we do a quiz. I do like a quiz, you know. Oh, I know you like a quiz. So it's nice to have lots of pencils in, in a mug. I yeah? agree. Yeah? Yeah. So, there we are. And then we've got... Go on. Uh, oh, we've got things like, who has those? <laughs> is that a shoehorn? Yes, yeah, a shoehorn. Yeah. Oh That's God. interesting. What is that, Helen? Uh, that is a, to, a suede boot cleaner because okay. I wear the s same suede boots for my yeah. show at the moment. And with this being there, would you know that that's there? No. Okay. I had no idea it was there. Right. And some nice tall candles. Yeah. There's a um, for a birthday cake. Mhm. Mm and they can maybe go in a drawer because they're that like tall. No, who has candles that tall? <laughs> Matches where you have photographs. That, that's Hannah I mean, when this my is... daughter Moulin Rouge Moulin in Paris. Rouge? It's a souvenir oh. from a place, and they take a photo and they make it into a matchbox. So this, I love that. Is uh, that was kind of hidden, and I feel like <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's I'm brilliant. Them, um, that expression. Andrew Coldheart did that. Now, I it's a beautiful painting, but I am um, five chins looking startled, and that's my novel, obviously <laughs> tucked away. The the novel. That is brilliant. With the lines. What do you think you were thinking? A then? lot of lines. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know. I just look like I'm maybe being inspired. Old party invitations, Christmas cards with photographs, of, like oh. over the years. That can go. That's that can go. That's the first thing that can go. Amazing. Woohoo! <laughs> We've got something that can go. Yeah, that can go straight out the door. Okay. <laughs> um, actually. Those two can go. Oh, Helen. I know, but I don't know. How long has this mantelpiece been here for? When did you get it installed? Um, well, uh, when we moved in, this is kind of a concrete thing. It's called a name, but I don't know yeah. what it is. Like the finish is a bit. Yeah. And then that wood, but there's a chip. So that, yeah. that is a, a rose that you get. Now that's important because Hay on Y Festival, very posh literary yeah. festival, you get given this. And after oh, you've been there to promote your book, it's like a, and it's like that's hay on wine. Okay. We do not, we do not get rid Noted. of that. That stays. Okay. Yeah. Nice people, important people, who sent me flowers. Um, I have oh. to keep their cards. Do you? Yeah. Do you keep them anywhere particular? Um, no. Maybe you'll find a place. Yeah. Even a shoebox. Okay, shoebox. If we if we put a thing shoe on it that box. says a dice. Nice Cards. Don't, dice just actually can be useful. Is it a Christmas decoration? Yes, a Christmas decoration. Okay. Don't know why it's there. We could put it with the Christmas deck. Okay. What we'll do is we'll make a pile of all of your cards. Okay. Yeah. Don't know what that is. Cards, oh. they can go. Playing cards. Okay. Ah. These, I don't know what they are, so they can go. Okay. Things and like old membership cards for the cinemas. They can go. Cards for restaurants, they can go. Tracking now. Brilliant. I love I know, this. But I know I'm going to get sad when we see it all. Signed for you by the author, but I can't. There's no shape. It's a signature. Oh. I don't know who it is. Who's the author? I don't know. It's a squiggle. <laughs> so, it's, it's a line. <laughs> so this was when... Um, it's tricky to keep that if you don't know who it is. Yeah, chuck it. Yeah? Chuck it. Right. Yeah, no, that's a polite way of saying get rid of it. That's a photograph... Oh, when I nice. when we were young, so that can go on the fridge. Yeah. Okay. Helen is um, somebody that adorns the fridge, as do I. But I know that um, a lot of 
Mm. People have varying opinions on that. Oh, no. I love a Bridge. fridge magnet oh, and a yeah. photograph. I think it's great. It's, so, it's a beautiful yeah. thing. It's like homely. Yeah, I agree. So here's a person I don't know, a business card, but you just never know. Do you keep the business cards? Yeah, always yeah. keep the business cards. And that's a magician. Yeah, so who knows? Oh my God, Free Davis. You got some cash? Go on. Is that an old Victorian 20? Is that a modern 20? I think 20? that's good to go. Do 20 pound notes little... change? Does that look They good? are going to change, aren't they? But I think that's Will absolutely that work? fine. Yeah. Look, I'm so happy we found 20 quid. Come oh my on. God. Okay, thank you cards can go because they're quite old. And then old parties uh, of another year can go, yeah? Brilliant. Nice photos, go on nice photo section. Yeah, love it. Oh, special people, special people we keep. Yeah. And then nice photo. <laughs> um, really old photo. Oh, wow, this is like an old comedian, Steve Frost. That, that's, that's, oh, look, all these, fo oh, these are beautiful photos. Oh, my gosh. So these wow. are really, like if only I knew, these are amazing photos. Me in a canoe, I mean, how often do you see that? Oh. Look at those arms. I was looking for these. Yeah? Recently? Yeah. Oh. Uh, for my book. I was wanting yeah. to put them in my oh. memoir. And these are really, so they were all in a special place. And you know when people say, have you got any photographs of yeah. you as a teenager? Yeah. So that's me. Oh, wow. Looking like a sulky teenager. Do you have any memory boxes or anything like that? For stuff like this. No, I have no memory boxes. I think naturally you're you're already yeah. making a decision, oh, yeah. which is quite helpful. That you're basically saying, yes, if it's a thank you card. Yeah, thank you cards can go. They can go. Um, and it, it can be quite helpful to do those kind of almost blanket decisions sometimes when you're decluttering. Yes, it's, look, uh, I know it makes, you're, it makes the yes, decision yeah. less. It's like yeah. thank you card, it's gone. Okay. Unless it's, you know. But it's sad because then I'll have no thank you cards. And like I won't have had a, a life. To, uh, I'll send or, you a thank you card okay. for doing the video. With no, me. that's okay, good. Because then you just go, Aww. keep that one, yeah. but not that. Because otherwise you've got no recollection of. Um, yeah. And the thing is, if we keep every single card, it's hard then to know. Yeah. You know, where do you draw the line? Okay. You know, so it's, yeah, it's, it's finding those that. ones that are special. That can go. Okay, great. Valentine cards. Oh, wow. So we have a section for Valentine yes. cards. Yes. What What's... you can do with things like this, once you've categorised them, say you've got your, val your precious Valentine's cards from over the years, you can put them all together, so you take a few, and you just put them all like that, and then you can hole punch that, and you tie a little ribbon through it, mm. and then you get a book. Okay. Of all of them. I wouldn't know how to do that. I wouldn't even begin. <laughs> That's a lot of work for someone. I can't. That's very cool. Look at that. I can't see me. Some of either. these I feel like should be on the wall. Oh yeah. Just hanging out on the bathroom yeah, floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With some. Um, <laughs> when I was a bit young. Cool flowers. <laughs> and a cheeky cigarette. Oh Love look. Um, you see invitations to an audience with Les Dawson. Wow. So I like keeping, so yeah. can we keep invitations like yes. that? Yes, yeah. Oh no, look, here's a cutting. Naked Truth of Helen's Stage Fright. Oh wow. Do you um, still get Stage Fright? Um, a version of it, yes. But I think it's quite important, otherwise it means yeah. you're not kind of like focused. Uh -huh. Like adrenaline? Yeah, adrenaline you need. What do you do about old wedding invitations? I would say definitely, well, I would get rid of them, personally. Okay, get rid of them. But, I'm not saying that you have to. Okay. <laughs> what makes you want to keep a wedding invite? Is it um, the thought, is it the memory of the wedding itself? Or is I it... just think it'd be rude to the people you know who you, oh, whose wedding you went to that I just thought, oh, chuck it. But it yeah. was a few years ago. I think if you've been to the wedding and you've okay. celebrated their special day, then chuck you it. You don't have to, yeah. Okay. <gasps> okay, good. So that's chuck. Sorry, These... <laughs> I won't say their names. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, so that can go, because those thank you cards can go. Yeah. Valentine's keep. Posh people keep because of my va vanity. Oh, look at that. Yeah. It's, what is that? No, that's, that's from him. He's, but does he sign it? I don't know. Um, he has. Yeah, but we don't know if that's ink, Paul. What kind of thing? I mean, I can see why you're hanging on to some of these Christmas cards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Look at this. Yeah. Signed by the Blooming King. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want to. Mess. Wow. That is impressive. What we can make you is some lovely boxes for okay. some of this stuff, if you'd like. Yes. No, and they don't have to be anything posh. You can use old shoe boxes, 
Sometimes, you know, if you get like a nice gift box. Yeah. They can be good for this. Okay, okay. But I don't want it with flowers on. I don't want it with somebody's details I want to keep. So that will go with business cards. You can put all of your business cards together and they can go to the office. Okay. Does that sound like a plan? Yes. Why is that? You, you look nervous. No, no, I'm just generally nervous because I'm now thinking, oh my God, there's... There is actually, you can actually see a bit of the Ooh, mantle now. That's yeah. from Charles again. See, I'm obviously keeping things here that I don't want to chuck. Oh, this is well, from you. This I is from see. you. Oh, <laughs> let's look at, it's one of my crafty creations. Yes. There we go, handmade. So oh, I'm very touched that you kept that. Yeah, so we can't chuck that, can we? You can chuck it. Okay. I will sacrifice oh, okay. the card that I've sent to you. That's a manifesting card. Oh, right, well, yeah. can we keep it? Well, it says each of those stars represents something good that's coming your way. Then let us keep, <laughs> let's not chuck that card, matey. Just talk my own card back into yeah, the pile. I don't that, think I'm meant to do that. Keep it. And those are nice, friendly things. So we need friendly yes. things. Yes, yeah. A friendly thing from King Charles, no less. Yeah. Again. Kept them. Wowie. But the thing is, we don't want to get rid of, of people where there's love, you know, no, I, because I life you. is so yeah. hard yeah. and you just got, you, for someone to have bothered to give you a lovely message, yeah. you can't get rid of it. You How do you feel about scrapbooks? Uh, I would be comfortable with that. And a school report, my God, keep that. There's a shelf of school reports. So this little candle can go, this is nice to put in just this was given but i don't know what you do with it that's to go in the bottle of wine is it yeah it's oh. a wine stopper is it is it yeah do you know i never knew that right well that can go in a drawer then um so let's get rid of those flowers those are precious things remembering people who've passed what how do you feel about things like this then so are these funeral yeah, or an yeah. invitation to a, a thing. Yeah. That can go, that can okay. go. Do you want to keep that? Yes. Okay. So... This would go, I would put this with all your cards that you're wanting to keep okay. from people. Okay. Yeah. And then those go. Um, Great. So you, okay, so you're rolling with getting rid of wedding invites. Yeah. Photograph of New Year's Eve, so we keep that. Yeah. Because we've got to keep moments of happiness. So we're at 25 oh. past. We have cleared <laughs> part of the mantle. Let's have a little look. How are we getting on? So, we have some mantle showing. Yes, it's it's different. Because I've just got used to the shape. But no, let, I, we've got to do it. His Royal Highness, the Prince of yes, Wales. Okay. Wow. Stopped inviting me now. That's why I'm probably hanging on to them. Yeah. I just, I don't <laughs> what know. did you do? I don't know. I don't know that. <laughs> nice button so that will go in my button box oh you've got a button box yeah i've got a button box i love, love to hear it oh, here's my button you like your haberdashery don't you i love haberdashery so more gla glass buttons are yeah. so beautiful yeah they are and they're very special oh my gosh i don't know i'm feeling a bit discombobulated i think it's a lot i mean you have got I didn't quite realise how deep it was yes. stacked, but that's a lot of memories you've got up there, it is actually. a lot. Um, so well done for tackling it. Yes. Some kind of cool drawing by a famous person. Wow! Can, that's, who knows, that might... That's good. That's really famous. Yeah. I saw that in Bristol the other day. Yeah. So This that, should be in a frame. Yeah, get that in a frame then. An email can go, photographs on it. Oh, uh, we can keep. I mm -hmm. hope there's no ghost. The, the door opened. Outside. The door's just opened. Oh! Okay. And there was a very interesting bit in your book about a painting that I was quite intrigued oh, yes. about. Yes. Um, that maybe, can I say on here? You may. Not to give you any spoilers, no. I will link Helen's memoir in the description box. Mm -hmm. And there's this bit in the book where you have a painting mm -hmm. that freaks somebody out. I don't think I've ever seen this particular painting before. No. Is it still up? Um, yes, uh, the painting is up. We've, yeah. uh, uh, it is in another room. And that's when we were filming Come Dine With Me. And one of the researchers decided that, that, it, that it screamed <laughs> because, um, and everyone had to calm her down and hide the painting because she decided that there was a ghost in the painting speaking to her. It sounds like, um, is it in The Witches when they, the people disappear in the painting? Oh yes, yes. Have you ever seen anything in this painting? No. Right. 
I, I'll show you the painting. Yeah. I'm intrigued. <laughs> but <laughs> there's no. so many fascinating tales <laughs> in this book, so I will link it for you. Okay. Little picture of Dawn French. I think oh. that came... It's a Christmas decoration, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. yes. So we, okay. we keep that. Oh yeah. my God, you and look at this very rude candle. <laughs> that is like a wow. Rude, that's um, something dodgy. Yes. That's an Advent candle, I that's believe. Kind of that's, drooping. Um, bit sorry for itself. I'm very sorry. Can we get rid of that? Okay. Yes. Great. Although it is quite funny. I think it's funny. Okay. No, we're keeping it. <laughs> oh, another letter from the the, the king. As it were. I can't believe how... Are you pen pals I with know, the king? I know, I know. Well, I probably was. Look at the handwriting. I know. Oh, this is an essay. That's because I used to do things and very kindly. Oh! Two pages. So we're keeping that. Um, oh, my friend in Cornwall. Um, this is incredible. <laughs> That's so nice. How to impress you in. Come round and look at my mantle. <laughs> Um, self mastery cards. Oh, they, do you like those? Yeah, you have them. I'm giving them to you. Thank you. Okay, and then these. Wow. Self empowerment and self management in <laughs> stressful and challenging times. You might need these. Uh, yes. More photos. Oh my gosh, we're nearly there. That can chart. Yeah. This is quite a nice thing. That's lovely. <laughs> but that's to buy Christmas come on now I know it's like this pain. is outrageous but that's why I keep them on the because it's a show off thing you could just ask Charles Shame. if he's got a spare like storage I up know. before you and we could put some of that stuff in there it's shameful it's shameful as your pen pals I know it, it's wrong so this can chuck yeah those wow up. yeah okay um but the photos are lovely I realise I don't have any current invitations to any parties whatsoever. Are you hinting? So, I just yeah, don't throw I just, parties. Just don't, I know you don't. Yeah. Oh my God, listen, we're nearly there. Yeah, you are doing really well with this. Uh, I never thought I'd do this, ever, because I... And in fact, it would be a sad thing for somebody else to have to come and do it when I've passed over. Oh, so, yes, we've gone dark already. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so at least we've done that yes. to save on someone else having to do it. These are, oh. oh, look at that photo. Oh my God, that photo of being young. You could put them in a special box. Okay, or... a special box. Okay. Helen's not vibing with the box. No, I'm going to think of a different I'm solution. Just, I, I, I'm just kind of thinking of a horrible flowery thing yeah. that is not me. Yeah. Um, but but they have to go somewhere, and that's why some photos we do need to put some. Yeah. Because people come and they go, oh, like that. I, it's nice to have things oh, of interest. Oh, definitely. All those can go. Great. Rescue remedy. Brilliant. We'll need that. Old rescue <laughs> Might just have remedy. Have a little blast. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Amazing. I mean, that looks like a design feature now. You know, like a, a thing. Like if somebody came in and go, oh, that's a fireplace. You know, that was for years and years and years of a shape that I knew. So I'd sit here and this is my place where I sit. And that is my familiarity. That's like the same. Or just a few more things added and shoved. Um, so now there's nothing. So that's a bit like there's nothing. So I don't want to feel too nothing, do you know what I mean? We will put some things back, Helen. <laughs> but yes. I want you to put things back on here that you're going to sit there of an evening or whenever you sat on the sofa and really, really love and appreciate and like, enjoy looking at. Okay, so well you can clock, choose anything The clock like. has to go. Right? Go back? It, no, on the thing. Yes. We need a clock on the mantle. Yeah. Because I need that clock. Lovely. I'm going to dust the clock. Oh, quickly. I knew that. You were looking edgy. <laughs> I knew that you weren't comfortable with that. Actually, I'll tell you what, since you've dusted the thing, the mantle, it okay. actually looks really nice. Like it's wood. Lovely, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it really does. No, this is good. Now I understand why that goes with that. That yeah. painting. I mean, it's meant, isn't it? Yeah. Like dirt, dirt. Painting. Yeah, yes. Because even though it's not the most flattering, I think that's a beautiful it, painting. The colour, yeah. these colours are beautiful. 
I'm interested that you put it back exactly where it was before. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can't deal with too much change. No, no. But it look, it works there. Yeah, so, and blue, blue. Yeah. Have you got something beautiful that you love? That's no. nice. That's Is quite that... a nice candle. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want that to go back? Yeah. Where it was before. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm, I'm going to, yeah. Dust, yeah. dust. I'm going to dust the top of that. When did you last light this one? Uh, th there's a loaded question. Not recently. <laughs> Ewan. There's bits here that we can rehome for sure. I think things like the pencil could go to the office, or would that be problematic? Okay. What does it look like? Can we just try it? Yes. I quite like that. I like that. Yes. That's nice. Okay. Like, d d it's you've made the pencils look arty. Yes. Instead of just like junky. And do you? Because it's space. These are your quiz pencils, and this is a social area, and you have got your games down there. Games. I'm just thinking, I'm trying to think the practicality of the pencils being on your mantelpiece. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I'm happy with that. We can let... <laughs> yeah, okay. That's what counts. That, that is what counts, <laughs> absolutely. Um, do what? we do anything personal, like a card now? Or what, what you could do you put, think? I think, I mean, it'd be nice for you to put a couple of your favourite photographs up. Oh, okay. Because you've got a few there that you really That's like. That's a nice card. Are we allowed one thank you card? I mean... What do you think? I could be strict and say you've got to wait until the next one arrives before... <laughs> what? What? Next one? And, like a new one comes in. Oh, and, uh, to be current? Yes. Okay. What about... Oh, I'm not in that one, so I'm not putting that photo on. Because this one's from 2016. Yeah. Um, Your point? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm thinking like the manifesting. If you haven't got space yeah. for invites on your mantelpiece... Oh! You know, there's a space here now for them to come to. Oh, okay. I'll what go do you there. think? Okay, yeah, because I haven't been invited to anything <laughs> at all. I'm empty of invites. Okay. Do you want to put this up there? I mean, it's a no, lovely card. No, no, we, we'll keep it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so... What about some of your... You've got all these awards over here, look. And these are on a radiator. We've got 2021. But I don't know if that would be cluttering. Is it, is it nice to be reminded? Is okay. I don't yeah. like the two together. Fine, yeah. So that one can go. Okay. Keep that one. And what about your pointless trophies? I see you've got two here. Yes. <laughs> Different wow. years. Wow. You could use these as bookends. Yeah. I mean, is that something they that need you'd dusting. like to, They do. <laughs> there is a little, little bit of dust on there. I suppose this is the kind of thing where people are suddenly looking meant. It's looking meant, whereas like... Yes, it's quite purposeful now. Yeah, very even, purposeful. Shocking. Even something random is kind of working, I would say. Yeah, it's quite shocking. This is not me. <laughs> so we just need one stonking, great, lovely photo I then. think so. Um, what about this me being sexual? Yeah. Or is that a bit? I think or is that let's a do bit? it. I think you could be sexual next to pointless trophies. <laughs> what do we think? <laughs> you, could, you could stack it like that. Yeah, no, I like that. Because that's saying... A bit more relaxed. When I was younger. <laughs> you can obviously play around with this yeah. and make it... Um, yeah. Work for you over the next few days. Mm -hmm. um, would this be? <laughs> <laughs> I think what we've got to remember here <laughs> is like... your mantelpiece does need to reflect your personality. It's, it's just thinking so it's, that. It's not, we're not going to get the kind of, it's not going to look like the home edit in Helen's home because you've got so much character here and we don't want to get rid of that. We absolutely don't want to do that. So, you know. I quite like that. It's funny. Um, I think absolutely keep the one candle. Mm -hmm. I might I might force you to light it when it comes to the 6th of December. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, because it is other... I mean, yeah. I'm happy with that. I'm, I think I'm we've come a long interest. way. Yeah. But this is, this is work in progress. I mean, would Did one put... King Charles's watercolour there, or is that a real show-off? That's a real show-off. I mean, it's a talking point. But at least if it's there like that, you can, you know, if someone's just waiting for you while you're upstairs on the <laughs> phone, you could be like, oh, mm -hmm. oh that's lovely. That? What I would like you all to comment is if you have a mantelpiece, let us know what is on it. Yeah. <laughs> Down in the yeah, comments, What do please. other people do? That's the thing. Yeah, I, I keep candles on mine and I keep quite a lot of random, to be fair. I do put cards on it. Okay. Invitations. I do take the cards off, mm. <laughs> and some go into a box in the loft, 
by okay, key right. and some just go in the shredder or in, you know in the bin oh. recycling i keep things like lighters what i'm trying to say is it is a practical space as well as display things in my home so there's no harm in that i don't think okay. i want you to like it so i'm not sure of that what do you think? Maybe better without? I think so, because I think this is really nice yeah, to have that exactly. space there. So although I think that's very Maybe we can start in introducing... Well, this is where it starts to become a problem. Yes, <laughs> yes, this yes. Is, this is how the build-up begins. Okay. So... Okay. So where, So we've got to now rehouse yeah. all this gump. Yeah, so what we can do... So what I would suggest is that Next time you're, you've got a bit of time in here, we, okay. we'll keep these piles on the coffee table. In their section. You can go through the photographs, and some of them, you could think, right, actually, I want those back on the mantel. Yes. Yeah. Some of them could go on the fridge. Yeah. Some could just be ones that you don't want to look at in, a, you know, in the short term, so you could put them in a box or in a, a yeah. photograph album. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. three o'clock, right? We're going to have to start okay, and yeah. have a look at the office. Done. I think you've done really well Yeah, here. Yeah, let me stand back. Yeah, and that is fire. a... <laughs> Standing back, very different. Yeah. A completely different experience. And the worst, you know, if you are doing this, and if anybody watching is doing this, the worst thing that can happen is you don't like it, put everything back again. Mm. But, I, but I guarantee that that will not happen. Yeah. Because you'll always improve it, and you can just mix and match then. Yeah, okay, good. Okay. Right. Exhausted. Onwards. Exhausted. <laughs> Join us in Helen's <laughs> office. <laughs> the first thing I've noticed in here is your backdrop. Yeah. This is very, very unique <laughs> because you've got an office here with all your bookshelves, but yeah. your backdrop is a photograph <laughs> of <laughs> a bookshelves with books on. I know. So I had that made in lockdown. So when I do a Zoom, yeah. then this is, so people think I've got a really arty farty room with a study. Sent off from Amazon um, two old copies of a retro, these are com comedy books I oh. wrote in the 80s. Oh my goodness, look at the canapes. They're licorice all sorts. Yeah. And a carrot. <laughs> and you would love this, Ewan. I'm going to find something for yeah. you to like. You see? You've just stenciled everything in the room, <laughs> including yourself. And here's one. <laughs> here's a plate warmer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, quite literally. So yeah, no, it's nice. So okay. They're in good nick, though. Can yeah. you still get this one? Oh, no, you have to get them second hand. Yeah. You Google them and then they arrive. Wow. That's very cool. Yeah. Where is your your latest book? Right, so this... I'll show probably. There we go. I'm just obviously showing it, but it is a very bright blue, isn't it? I like the colour. Yeah. And I thoroughly enjoyed this, Helen. And it you listened a, to it. I listened to it because I like to read by listening yes no. <laughs> it's a great way to spend um long journeys if any of you drive or mm. go on the train and helen narrates this as well so i felt like i had you as a bit of company mm -hmm. it was lovely in your ear and it's so interesting because it goes all the way from helen's childhood and you sounded like you were a lot of fun at school mm, was to come up with well i i say that some of those games <laughs> and all the way through your career from the 80s to now mm -hmm. and going forward and the gigs i did and all the different gigs and being a comedian in the 80s and what mm -hmm. that was like mm -hmm. and the people i got off with yes <laughs> called it I getting won't off with any spoilers but yeah, yeah. there was a lot in there that i didn't know about yes. helen and i've known helen for some years now so yeah, yeah you probably um oh i go there it's all in there mm. it is all in there yeah alarmingly out there <laughs> and yeah. there's some fascinating bits about your TV career and more recent experiences, like going into the Big Brother house. And yeah, a lot of reality TV. Yeah, yeah. Which, um, which I've done. Yeah, it's a diving. juicy read. Yeah, it's juicy. That it is juicy because why yeah. would you write something if it isn't juicy yeah. and true? Juicy yeah. and true. Yeah. Oh, it's very truthful. Good, good combo. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed this, Thank Helen. You. Congratulations. No, I'm pleased you did. It's a fab book. You should yep. all read it, mm. or listen to it, so I, I will link it for you. Thank you. And you'll thoroughly enjoy it. It's a good one for this summer. <laughs> That's how much you love it. <laughs> I just chuck it in my office. I got no, you this really. cushion. No, you did, and I keep that. That's a beautiful <laughs> message. I will pick that up. That's a beautiful message. Get yourself, or somebody that loves a funny read, and a truthful one, this book. So this should be pride of place in here somewhere. You're right, yeah. Because we are short of time, mm. We're going to do some tips for this room, 
things that we can all do when we've got a spare 15 minutes yep. and that I think that's the way to tackle a room like this because I mean I can see that this is where you do all of your work everything I just this is the room I have a difficulty with my neighbours situation um, because every so often they have to do building things yeah. and I never know when the drilling is going to stop. Yes. So I kind of go a bit insane. So I've got a variety. These are my current ones. They've yeah. been shoved in there. Um, These I've look got like some good ones. Uh, and I've got some serious headphones uh, on the floor oh, down there. Wow. Um, they're for like when people go hunting. I mean, these are like defenders, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they're serious. <laughs> do you work in there? Yeah. Yeah, wow. I put those on. That's extreme. I mean, I've heard that you can get um, like modern things like silencers, but this yes. is just. <laughs> you Do just, you work like that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm in here, I'm at my thing, and I'm just <clears throat> like that. Yeah. So I've got those in and those in. Yeah. Wow. It's a lot of protection. That is like, do not disturb. Do not. I am writing. <laughs> but and it is a mess, you in. What do we do? What? Well, now you have written the memoir. I'm thinking there is probably things in here that you needed for the memoir that now you've written it potentially could be looked, re looked at to yeah. go. Yeah, like those notebooks. If you take yes. those notebooks, like I can't chuck I out notebooks, but um, yeah. I, I'd be lost without my notebooks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's, this is kind of one pile of yeah. many over here, isn't it? Yeah. But you're creative. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then I'd love to have a clear I guess. Think when you are as creative as you are, it's really challenging. So I think the way to start with a room like this would be some things that are quite potentially easy for you to get rid of. Like if you've got any old magazines. Yeah. They're often the things that we can kind of quite easily get rid of without too much emotional attachment. Things like subscriptions, magazines that we've just kept because we have just kept them, mm. you know, not things that have got a specific article in, but yeah. things like old house, ma you know, home magazines, that sort of thing. A lot of this looks like books too. Yeah, I've got a lot of notebooks in there as well. Um, I've yes. got, used to write about wine, so yeah. I've, got, I've got sort of wine section, then I've got comedy book section that should be on the landing. Yeah. Um, what are all those magazines down there? Uh, I think they are... Uh, I don't even know, so yeah. that's frightening. Maybe they could go, but then I, yeah, I like to keep interior when, yeah. like, I like looking at photographs of yeah. lovely houses and colours and fabrics, and I think to get rid of them, they're kind of collectors' items. Some yeah, they magazines. can be when they're vintage. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so that's it. You see? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have I stumped you? Well. The battery's flashing, the camera's giving up, uh -huh. <laughs> shall we? <laughs> I feel like I'm in Helen's office <laughs> asking for a job or something. May I declutter your home, please? You may, please do. <laughs> We're a little bit short of time today, so what I thought we'd do is just a couple of little tips if you're decluttering your office, and they're things that you could potentially do and I can come and help you with in the future, if, they, if you like the sound of them. Okay. One thing that I've spotted around and about in here is a lot of old VHSs, which I'm presuming you've got lots of old clips on that you, you do need to hang on to. Yeah, because they're so old, I don't think you can find them on the internet. Yeah. yeah. So they're unique. And they're not anywhere, basically. No. Okay. So with VHSs, one thing that I've done before is that there's companies where you can send them off in a, in a bag, you, you know, you send them a recorded delivery, and these companies will put them onto, they'll make them digital basically so you'll get a file that you could then you could um, upload them to YouTube if you wanted to or you could just keep them on your computer or on a hard drive because actually with VHS's they do start to decay as well oh, wow. so even if you're keeping the VHS's it's worth doing this anyway so that you've still got them okay. in case the VHS because that, that tape in the VHS can start to go okay so, so that's you, one that you could do good and um, then if you felt confident then that you you got the digital versions then you might feel okay to then get rid of the VHS tapes, okay. which will clear up a lot of space in here. It's a lot, isn't it? Yeah. The, thi <laughs> the thing is, what we've got to remember with Helen's office, and this is all in the book as well, is Helen's career has gone through decades, hasn't it? So, and a lot of this 
dates back. You know, I was looking down here, you've got Woman and Home magazines. Because I used to have a column for four years. Oh, wow. So again, that's kind of horny, yeah. isn't it? But I well, just kept the magazine and the column in it. Yes. I mean, you could. Again, this is something that I've done in the past where I've got a little a bit in a magazine is some of them I thought, you know, it's a tiny little thing, that's scrapbooking, <laughs> but it's time consuming. Yeah. But you can cut these pages out and then you could put them into clear plastic wallets and then you get all of those magazines down into one file okay. if you wanted to. Yeah. And then with your books in here, there's a, obviously with your Comedy Women in Print Prize and your love of reading mm -hmm. and all of these books, if there's ones that you've read, if they're novels and you're thinking they can go, then I think it's Charity Shop or there's an app that you can get called We Buy Books and you scan the barcodes. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, love it. I can only see Helen's eyes. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm just in shock. Yeah. I can't see if you're smiling. No, or... no I'm absorbing. <laughs> I just see yes. the eyes <laughs> are like quite wide. Yeah. Look quite worried. Um, um, barcode scanning. You can, and they, they don't give you loads of cash, but they do offer you a little bit of money for each one, and that can be a quick way to sort of scan, 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 a bit of cash back, and then mm. you just post them off to them. It's like an easy way to deal with your books if you've got quite a few novels that you want to. Okay, I could attach to books, but because yeah. um, I need well, some for reference. Duplicates. But yeah, duplicates and and things that aren't useful that I've just got. Yeah, no, you're right. I've, yeah, I can get rid of a, a few because, books because what we can do then is get some of this shelf space back. Yeah, so, uh, there's quite a lot of your stuff that's on its side, which then creates avalanches. <laughs> yes. Oh god. And if yes. we can get all of that upright, it, it's just so much easier to access it then for you. Yeah. So you're not yeah. pulling things out and they slide onto you. No, I mean, I sort of... Otherwise we'll need to get you a crash helmet to go with your ear defenders. <laughs> I know, I kind of think I know roughly where things are yeah. shape-wise. Yes. But it, to uh, your eyes, I can now see, obviously, there's a lot of oods. Yeah, it's a bit of... It's overwhelmed. But I just yeah. don't know how I could pull... I, I don't know how to get rid of things, but I've got, I've got to. Yeah. For, for this room, I would say start with things that have absolutely no meaning whatsoever. Empty jiffy bags. Mm -hmm. I'm just scanning mm -hmm. to think of things that are very easy for you to quickly yeah. part with. Yeah. Novels that are a duplicate or, yeah, as you say, not you don't have to care for. Notebooks. And notebooks. There's going to be a lot of notebooks in here, I would imagine, that have only got a few notes in them and probably with a quick squiz through yeah. there might be ones that could go they can go straight into the recycling yeah yeah do we burn the sage at this point oh yes i do that every so often do you for a bit of a oh, energy yes. cleanse yeah oh. i'm with you on that and we've got the spray here as well we could just spray this it says clear your space i've got success <laughs> yeah which has run out nearly with the blast of that <laughs> oh, i've just pressed oh, yeah. success has come in and believe and in yourself believe in yourself Success and believe in yourself. All of our lovely viewers. Woo! Woo! <laughs> We've got a bit Ooh. of a plan for the office. <laughs> Let's have a look at the cellar. Oh, that's handy. You can put some a things box. in this potentially. To be fair, I think your basement is actually pretty well organised. As right. in, you've got all the racking here, which is really good um, and helpful because we can utilize a lot of this i'm just glancing through and i think you've got a lot of what looks like old electrics yes which potentially could go straight to the recycling or be sold on but what worries me is what if what if i've got some dodgy oh <laughs> well this i mean I yeah i mean i think yeah, this is just smash it with things that yeah i mean with computers and stuff this is a sky box so that'll be fine that's just an old sky box you've probably got like a screen there old landline phone yeah keyboards i mean all this stuff can either go recycling or just um there's recycling. certain charities that'll take computers okay. oh, really? and you can check those um ways to wipe them what i'm thinking is if we could clear out a lot of this stuff which does it like unused electricals yes. like broken printer probably it's it? very sad and depressing yeah What's that? So Virgin me. Media. So any old TV boxes and things oh. probably aren't going to be, oh. yeah, fucking great thing. So Sometimes, they would. Do they work? It probably does work, and it's probably that you've changed your TV, um, mm. which we do, mm. as we do. So if you're not no longer with Virgin, for example, sometimes you can just sell these on eBay as well and get a bit of cash for them. Oh, wow. Okay. or recycle them so that could probably definitely go <laughs> fantastic and then what i'm thinking is if we could get rid of a lot of these electricals yeah these shelves are really handy but you could put in things that 
you want to reach for regularly. So bits for your parties or yeah. your garden cushions. And then stuff just like that. chuck all the silver foil platters. Well, do you use them? I mean, are <laughs> they... not every day. <laughs> no, but or you just have a section for your party wear. So what would be nice if we could separate tennis rackets? Yeah. <laughs> tennis rackets? I and haven't just... held a tennis racket for a very long time. <laughs> so if they're things that are still played with, we could have a sports section. Yeah. And if not, they could be donated. Glasses. Yeah, so is that party wear again? Yeah. Because I think entertaining is obviously a big part of your life yeah. isn't it so but what we want to be able to do is access this stuff without having to move things I know. ideally so um see here we've got more cushions for the garden yes. which um handy. are handy but then yeah we want to be able to access all of this so is that a spray pressure washer oh I'm, i need to borrow that off you if that's yeah. all right <laughs> <laughs> look at bet. me finding my you bet. to get my roof garden sorted right so I hope it's ours maybe we borrowed <laughs> yeah. it off some maybe we borrowed it off you could you. do a sneaky double load yeah so this pile over here i think is your main this is the mountain problem area yeah yeah that we do need to look at and, and think about just chuck that I mean, looks like the box that you were worried i was going to put all your cards into yes if i may say oh well, <laughs> it yes. looks like the kind of box that was concerning you but maybe we can use it because it's got shoes in it yeah has it it has got I shoes in it wow <laughs> yeah, do you want them? I mean, I don't think they're quite my style, but... Would anyone want those shoes? Somebody would want those shoes. But then they might want them in the box. Yes, they will. But you could sell these or donate them. Oh, I know, it's a hoover that doesn't work. Right, so that needs to go to recycling for sure. Recycling. Yeah, we'll get that straight out of here. Christmas decorations and, um, like, my parents, um... <laughs> tablecloth oh, okay. and my grandmother's um tapestry oh, wow. for a table so these i think would ideally go in a linen color yes. if you want to they yes. are probably quite precious aren't they yes so let's get these out of they here and they should go going up into the house warm. yeah and then dare i because you don't you've got the risk of a bit of damp potentially in the cellar aren't you basement oh that's pretty now would that is that salvageable that looks like the moths have been on that helen right we chuck let's get this out of the way first. christmas decorations so we're keeping those oh, i'm no. guessing you could go through them at some point yeah but um not today i think when you're tackling a loft or a basement yeah it's good to try and get rid of some big things first because then you can clear some space to actually work within these are they useful or not? Um, they're not useful if you can't get them out. <laughs> <laughs> well, well That's the thing, isn't it? So a lot of these things, you know, you're not going to come and grab this and use it in the garden if it's in here, you know, buried. No. So it's deciding whether, if you do want to use this, are we they can nice? wash them. They are nice if we can wash them up. Okay, how would you wash them? I think we need to try and get the covers off or you could take them outside, give them a good wash and then okay. put them in the sun. Okay. And while we've got the heat wave, it is a great time to be doing this okay. sort of thing. All right, let's do that. Because you can get those, I'd spray that with the white vinegar, get all that mildew and put it in the sun and it should bring it up nice and clean again. Okay. You can spot clean it with just some soapy water. Or you can. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving me jobs. I know. Um, but summer is a great time to be tackling this because at least then, you know, if you're wanting to do any of this outside, that's got to be chucked straight that's out definitely yeah. chucked. and this is on often what happens with our garages and cellars is that rather than just putting things straight to the recycling we just end up dumping it in the pile but then it's yeah that goes where recycling recycling yeah so there's um at the tip there is places where you can recycle your electricals or there's even little bins near the train okay. station that you just put them into okay. for smaller items um, there's a hula hoop that can go. <laughs> Kitchen spices that are probably quite greasy and covered in oh, wow. food foodness. Yeah. Do you use these? No, they're not mine. Oh, okay. They just look quite old and yeah. dusty. Do you want them? No, thank you. Mm -hmm. But you can get rid of this yeah. as a unit if you don't. Yeah, I, I mean, I would get rid of. You've them. got your spice in your kitchen I've that you use. Spices. Right, that can go. So that's yeah. important. Right, let's get some of these oh, bin bags. God. 
tricky because we can't that? see what is inside them. Oh, they're cushions. Because I used to make cushions. I'm yeah. like obsessed with oh, making. Oh, lovely. And that's a nice, that's linen. Yeah. These are nice. These, these are oh, nice. Oh, they're pretty. Yeah, these are, this is from a lovely American. I mean, it's a bit old and faded, but these are nice. So what we should do with these is probably get them upstairs. You can go and through them all, them. wash them, and then you make some decisions. But these are inner cushions. Yes. Yeah. So you see if they can go onto your sofas and be used, and if not, we could donate some of those potentially. Okay. So they yeah. can be washed. Lovely. So they because I do like making cushions. That is my hobby. Do you remember? Yeah, I do. When I have time. Linens, cushions. Yeah, I like these, yeah. but they're quite. Oh, do you like them? I do, yeah. It's whether you've got somewhere where you can actually use them, if you've got sofas that you'd put or chairs that you'd put them onto. I like them. Yeah. Because they might be nice for outside. Oh yeah. And but the Well I, what we can do they're very loved. That's the thing. What would be nice in here is if you are gonna use these outside, we yeah. get them into plastic crates onto the shelves so you can come in here and see them, whack a label on it, and then that slides into that shelf. Perfect. And then you can see them with these containers. Yeah. You see what's in there straight away. This trampoline. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I recall this from the last time I was in here with you. Towels. So what do we do with towels? So towels we can take Celia Hammond, the cat centre, oh, if you're not using them. Yes. They'd love them. Um, They're clean. Yeah, they would. These are my favourite. You see, I this breaks my heart to get rid of these. Oh. They're quite old because these are the towels that I bought with oh, the linen. Got linen. I want. To they're keep in them. your book. They're in my book, and I'm not going to part with them because they. I think they're beautiful. Can we say actually? I, I'm going to give away too many spoilers. <laughs> But if you want to find out how much these cost Helen and what, mm -hmm. what job she did to get the fee, <laughs> yes. you will have to read it because they're edged with linen. They are beautiful, they actually. They are lovely. Wow. Um, I think these are probably the most expensive towels yes. I've ever handled. Yes. Judging by what I've read. <laughs> well, no, I'm actually... going to recycle them. I'm going to take those yeah. and I'm going to wash them. But these can go to Celia Hammer. Yeah. But this is what happens when I get made to chuck things and then that's another no. one. Then I love them. Yeah. But these darker ones can all go to Celia. But this, what we want is to keep everything that we really love. Yeah. And it's, you know, you spent a lot of money on yeah. these and it sounded like that was quite a hefty job that you did in order to earn that money. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that is impressive, the mm -hmm. linen. But these, so... But ones that you think, right, rough and ready, no longer using them. No, I mean, they're the, fine. Um, the pet shelters do love taking these because they're easy for them to wash mm. when the cats have used them. They don't like taking any duvets or anything that's padded because mm -hmm. it's difficult for them to wash. But yeah, towels oh, or um, throws, they they welcome. We do a big pile for the cat shelter. I'm gonna go yeah. and visit them soon so I could Perfect. take a few Hit bits to them. Right, what we can do with this trampoline, because it's not been used, I'm guessing, since I last saw it, which was last summer when we did your roof garden. <laughs> yes, it, no, it's not. I, I'm good. I accept that it's over. Can we put we it in the garden? Yeah, or we could put it on the on the road. And oh, someone, someone will take it by this going. Yeah, they'll start to really be able to chip yeah. away at this pile. So if you've got big things in your garage, oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, in your garage, in your um, loft, you know, or a basement. If you can get rid of any big things that aren't in use, it's just going to make it so much easier to declutter the rest of it. So big things out first. So now we can actually get into this a little bit more to start to chip away at. So what I would like to see happen mm -hmm. <laughs> over the coming yes. weeks is, you know, you can come down here, a bag at a time, something like this, get these mm. up into the home mm. and start to make some decisions about them. If they're things that you think, right, these are things I want to keep in the basement to be using, say for example, if you're using those in the garden, mm. then it'd be nice to get them into in some there. homes here. So for yeah. example, you've got a big space over there. See in there, there's quite mm. a lot of space, but we can't really access it, no. but we could. So that could become like garden. Okay. Quite a lot of work to be done. <laughs> yeah. Shall we chuck the hula hoops? Do you use them? No. Yeah, let's do it. Should I mean, we just chuck them? you can put these out on the street. Someone yeah. will gladly take Somebody them. Somebody would like a hula hoop, yeah. surely. Absolutely. Let's... So the hula hoops go, and I've got like a weird wicker table. Can this go? Yep. Brilliant. We so if we it. can lose that. Oh, look at these towels. Oh, right, that is a lot. It. Yeah. You can go through this bag upstairs, but ideally. I was forced to yeah. chuck them. Brilliant. So they're nice. 
The kittens and the cats will love them. No, that's, I'm happy, that's made me happy. Yeah. So, another Christmas thing. Right. So these, again, I'd like to see these slid Gone into through. those shelves yeah. behind us here because then easy access, pull them out like drawers. Okay. I sound so bossy. You are, but this is, you're making <laughs> things happen. More towels, towels, yeah. We want to get rid of this table. And this is a prop for a show I've done, which I haven't been able to prop that's with. That's fine. Um, bedding, we'll get that upstairs into a linen cupboard if yep. that's going to be used. And if you find you've got enough, then some places will accept those. Right, if we can get that. Oh, look at that. This is weird. This is part <laughs> of a show. Don't ask me why. Don't know what it was. Curtains, Pamela Stevenson. <laughs> Don't understand. A prop. There we are. It's just a prop. <laughs> if we can get this table out, that's yeah. going to really help us. Yeah. And do you, are you happy to part with that? Yeah. I, you can get a bit of cash for this if you want. I would say you could probably list that and someone will come and take it. <laughs> just leaving you to yeah. take the burden <laughs> of it. So what we are left with now is still a pile but you can get to it. So you can actually come down here now yeah. and think, right, cushion, what am I doing with that? Start to make some decisions. Balance ball. Yeah, you need to know what to do on that. Yeah. I mean, sit on it. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you can start to pull things out. Yeah. You've got your bags here, perfect for, we can put all those towels into yeah. these. They can go straight to the cat zone. If, over the next few weeks, we can chip away at this Yeah. Lot. It's not something you want to do necessarily in one day. No. Um, but th then this can become a space where you can actually walk into and we could potentially put a bit more shelving up here. Oh yeah, um, amazing. Or e you've got this whole wall to utilise. Um, oh look, I found something. Hey, look, there's some um, oh, wow. stairs. Oh, they look cool. Yeah, quite useful. Yeah, some steps. They could be good for they would reaching be in your office. Yeah, they would be useful. Okay, right, I feel like we've made a good stab yes. at this. It is five to four, so we are out of time. Yeah. <laughs> so, we are. But we've, done, we've made a I feel a like we've start. made a real start at it. You can kind of start to see that at least now you can get into here and access things to start getting them out of the home. We've got quite a big lot of bulky stuff going straight outside now. Towels, mm -hmm. which Celia Hammond will be delighted yep. to take. Um, some garden cushions that can go outside for a little scrub down, put yeah. them in the sunshine yeah. to dry. And then I think, if you can just chip away at this a little bit for me, yep. Electrical I can come scope. back and we can organise all these shelves yep. and this will become so much more accessible for you. And that corner will be gone. Like <laughs> but we'll have to leave it there for today. So I hope you've enjoyed this rather chaotic <laughs> declutter with us. It's been amazing. <laughs> We've made a start. I, I think you've done really well. I feel. Because I know I mean, that it's quite overwhelming for you. Mm, um, towels. <laughs> lots of towels to, to wash now no yes. but no it has been but we've made we've made some changes yes and, you've and, and now that hopefully happen. you can start to see where this could lead to yeah. in, in all of the spaces that we have looked at today so yeah i hope this has been helpful for some of you as well leave us your decluttering tips as well um and also do subscribe if you're new here for new videos every single week thank you for doing this with me today no i know it's because it's, it's very kind of it's quite a full-on thing to do, yeah. looking at these different areas in your home, especially like your mantelpiece that you haven't looked at for such a long time. No. <laughs> in terms of going through it. Like, I'm you happy. Know. I feel, yeah. you do feel clearer. Good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's that's good. what we want. So <laughs> I will link Helen's book as well down in the description box. Do click through and buy yourself a copy if you would like to read that. And yeah, thank you so much, Helen. Thank really you, Ewan. I'm sweating now. So you'll have to get off to your um, thing tonight. Oh, gotta go. Good luck with that. Yeah, thank you. But we're out of here. But um, yeah, stay tuned and we might revisit this and see, um, put some organisation into place for Helen. Yeah. <laughs> right, come so. on. Let's get out what? of here. Whoa. <laughs>